What's up everybody? Welcome to Adventure FPV. My name is Lee. Today we have some really exciting news in the FPV community. We can now output video from our DJI V1 or V2 goggles to an Android device. I think there's also support for PC and I'm sure that iPhone is coming soon. But uh, right now we're able to output to a device for spectators. And actually today what we're going to try to do is hook it up and fly with it. So I really want to thank all the developers and supporters who have been working on this. This is amazing. It's a great gift to the community. Uh, if you want to try it yourself, there's going to be a link in the description to the download to Digiview Alpha. It's an APK file for your Android device. Like I said, it is not currently available as far as I know on iPhone or other devices. And it, you will not find this as of today in the Play Store. You're going to have to download it and install it manually on your phone. Okay, so besides the application you're also going to need a USB-C to USB-C cable I'm sure you could use one with an adapter I've seen other people doing that but we're going to use a USB-C to USB-C cable today one end is going to plug into the goggles onto the USB-C port and the other end is going to plug into your phone this is assuming that you have a USB-C on your phone but the other end is going to go right here on the phone and the Digiview app I went ahead and opened it the first time before I used it but I think that uh, it should just open every time you plug it in. But right now we're gonna test this out. It's great for spectator mode. We're actually gonna try and fly it. I don't think it's gonna work, but we, we will try and fly it and see how that works out. So let's get into it. Okay, so first we need to go ahead and plug in the goggles for the battery. And then we're going to plug in the USB-C cable on the side of the goggles. And then the other end is gonna go to our phone. I'm gonna go ahead and set the goggles down now. Unfortunately, my tripod broke, so hopefully this thing will last what I have here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the Digiview app. Actually, it looks like it's opening all by itself at this point. All right, so let's give this thing a test. We'll try uh, flying it through the goggles here. Probably not facing the best direction, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, latency problem. I just hit the ground, but the feed was not displaying that. So let's go get it. Okay, so we were testing to see if it was flyable. It is definitely not flyable. Um, <laughs> the latency uh, started to grow as I was flying and uh, it looked like I was still in the air and I heard the, uh, the copter hit the ground. So I'm gonna go pick it up. Hope nothing is broken. Eek. Okay, so like I thought, that did not work out very well. The latency actually started to get worse as it went on, and uh, it was unflyable. I was actually on the ground when it, I thought I was still in the air, so uh, don't try to fly with it, yet at least. My latency is, uh, maybe it's just my device, it's uh, a little laggy, but um, yeah, it's definitely not flyable, but it's perfect for spectator mode or recording or whatever you want to do with it. So let me know how it's working for you guys down in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe and drop a like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.